show mercy. Oh, moonsault! Oh, here it comes! Belly to belly! Look out! It's always an eerie scene when Bray Wyatt enters an arena and the fireflies come out. Bask in the warmth of weirdness. He's here. superstars who have faced Brock Lesnar, and there is one common denominator between them all. They say once you are in the ring with Brock Lesnar, you are never the same. Because you go to Suplex City! These two are in the ring where their grudge can get settled. No more excuses. We're going to find out. We're going to lock it in here. Oh, and he slips out. Wow, looked to me like he had it locked in pretty good. I guess not. with cell insanity. There he goes, crashing to the floor. It's hard not to recognize what Shane McMahon has done when it comes to Hell in a Cell. As Corey was saying, but at what point is enough enough? Come on, Michael, there's no such thing as enough when it comes to Shane McMahon. Even you know that. Down to the floor. Unfortunately, Corey, I can tell you firsthand that Brock Lesnar is among the most unpredictable superstars on the roster today. You just never know when he's going to snap. When you say firsthand, Cole, I assume you're referring to one of the greatest moments in Raw history when Lesnar f 5 you in the middle of the ring. And I lost my shoe. What's Brock Lesnar putting together here? Oh, boy. Oh. Nice. Shut it down. Not for nothing, Corey, but you describing Lesnar's 2015 attack on Michael as one of the greatest Raw moments is a little disrespectful. No, it's not, because you took over play-by-play, -play, and at the end of that, I sounded like Gordon Soley. Yeah, and if you think that's disrespectful, Saxton, just wait till you hear how I describe it when Lesnar finally comes over here and destroys you. Don't wish that upon me. Of course, guys, we all remember when the Hell in a Cell debuted in 1997 and how 
harrowing the structure look. But it's worth noting that the cell has become even more ruinous in recent years. Ooh, oh, what a punch. That's how you stop your opponent. The champ's starting to falter a bit. I'd say he's starting to feel the pressure a bit. This cell has a way of changing people forever. And I can't help but think he's never going to be the same again after this one. You know, Corey's point about the cell evolving in recent years is absolutely right. In fact, Byron, the structure is now well over five tons. And I believe that's more than twice as heavy as the original cell, Michael. And believe it or not, it's increased in height by nearly five feet. Oh, nasty impact. He's making a statement here with this attack. Guys, we all know the storied history of Hell in a Cell, but we'd be remiss if we didn't at least mention that the first time anybody laid eyes on this demonic structure was back in October 1997 at the Bad Blood pay-per-view. Reflect it again on the first time we saw the Hell in a Cell structure. I don't think anybody at the time could have envisioned the truly merciless moments this structure would provide over the years. And amazingly, Michael, those moments somehow become more and more barbaric with each passing match. Little timeout time. Kamara Lock is in. I'm not sure how much he has left. Ray Wyatt's just getting overwhelmed. Whoa, he gets out of it. He's at another level. Great job escaping, trying to turn this thing around. Now Ray Wyatt, for his sister Abigail. Going for the cover. One, two, and the champ kicks out. Still seems a little early. As we all know, Hell in a Cell matches tend to deteriorate once the competitors leave the confines of the ring. There haven't been many performers who can claim their first WrestleMania match was in the main event. But then again, there haven't been many performers like Brock Lesnar. Sister Abigail! Lesnar's first WrestleMania. Yes, it was the main event, but you failed to mention that he won that main event match, too. Yeah, Corey, it was a brilliant mixture of technical wrestling and all-out brawling that only Angle and Lesnar can deliver. Miraculously, Lesnar survived missing a shooting star press and hit Angle with an F5 to end ref... We're gonna lock it in here. Guys, I think it needs... And he breaks free just when you thought he was out of this one. And a swinging gut buster! Nasty. What a strike! <laughs> what a four -on. I have to agree with what Byron was saying about the dangers of Hell in a Cell. The truth is that superstars change forever after competing in this demonic structure. For once, I agree with both of you. The fact of the matter is that tonight will likely be the most demanding night of these superstars' careers. Oh, and he connects. There's no reason to lose your footing on a move like that. Come on, toughen up. You guys know what I like most about Brock Lesnar? It's that he lets his actions in the ring do the talking for him. I wish a lot more people would employ that strategy. But he's definitely tapped a power source. Oh man, jarring headbutt. And that 
one grabs him. I didn't realize he had such a glass jaw. Lesnar drives him down, but Coley's not finished. No, not at all. Lesnar again with the power. For the time. That might have done it, Cole. We got a cover. One and a kick out by Bray Wyatt. Remarkable. Of course, guys, we all remember the 1998 battle between Mankind and Undertaker. And all these years later, fans still refer to it as one of the greatest Hell in a Cell matches of all time. Forget the Mankind Undertaker match. Just the sight of Mankind flying through the air is something that will be ingrained in my memory forever. Yeah, and while Mankind's the story of that match, I think a lot of people forget it was actually Undertaker who walked out of that match victorious. Something about Bray Wyatt that is even more harrowing is that whether the Eater of Worlds is leading a family or by himself, Bray Wyatt never truly walks alone. Someone or something is always lurking in the shadows. Double axe handle smash. Bray Wyatt is being outworked here tonight. Where do you think he should go from here? This may very well be one of his toughest challenges in a very long time. Sister Abigail delivered by Bray Wyatt. to the heart. This is one they'll be talking about tomorrow at Worker School, that's for sure. And he's taken down with authority. I think I felt the ground shake on that one. Oh boy, he is rolling. Dropped, and that was a hard shot, Corey. Yeah, he might want to think about throwing in the towel at this point. Brock Lesnar is a beast in every way you can imagine. We know what's coming here. German after German by Brock. Just when you thought we were going to crown a new champion. Things don't look good for Bray Wyatt. Shoulder tackle. Wyatt kicking some serious tail here. Bray Wyatt drives his opponent down with a Yurinagi. Wyatt has to look to end this match right now. And Bray Wyatt might have just secured the victory. I don't know how much more damage one person can take. I don't care how tough you are.
Can he finish him off here? The champion into the cover. Two, three. Bray Wyatt with the victory. Some superstars doing what they do best. Here are the highlights. These guys showed flashes in this match, but flashes don't exactly set the world on fire, as these highlights show very well. These guys showed flashes in this match, but flashes don't exactly set the world on fire, as these highlights show very well. I know the match was solidly entertaining, but I really hope these guys would take it to the next level. Regardless, nobody's asking for their money back. Here is your winner and WWE Champion, Bray Wyatt. Now that's eking out a win. The new face of fear took the world in his hands tonight. Listen to this Detroit crowd. I think they're already ready for the rematch.